Pat Scary, head coach of the men's Towson Tiger team and the Towson Tigers last year. Well, they're going to look a little different this year than what they did a year ago. Uh, what are your goals and expectations for the Tigers heading into this new year? Well, I mean, you know, our, our goals are the same as Ben. We do have a lot of new guys, thank, that's, thank goodness, and, and, and we look different. Um, our, our goal is, you know, what we do every day, hopefully we, we practice a certain way and play a certain way that will give us a chance every night out. You know, we're not one of those places in any good program I've been a part of. We, we talk about doing things a certain way to give yourself a chance to win every game, and that's defending, rebounding, and taking care of the ball and put a lot of time on skill development, get good players better. So our, our, our goals are to be right in the mix every, every night out. We think we've got enough personnel to do that. Marcus Damas and uh, Chris Walden each had solid seasons in their first year of the Tigers. What do each of those guys bring to your team, and, and how will their roles change this year? You know, uh, both their bodies have improved a lot in, in the offseason. Um, they're both tireless workers, and they both have an edge to them. They don't like what we went through, um, and, and they've gotten better for that. Now they're going to get their roles are going to change because they had to play the entire game last year, and we've added quite a few other pieces. So it's going to help them long term. It's going to help Chris in particular, who can shoot the ball. Never really got an opportunity to do that last year, and now he's going to have some opportunities to do that. And, and Marcus has become a much better all-around player, and is going to become an excellent defensive player for us this year. The Tigers have several newcomers who are expected to have an immediate impact on the CAA. Uh, talk about a few of them and what you think they will bring to your team. Well, uh, Jarrell Benjamin's got a chance to be really good. He's 6'8", 245 pounds. He's a skilled four-man, kind of, in our opinion, the mold that uh, the, the, the Pearson, Burgess, Givens type of guys were. He can shoot it. He can drive it. He's a terrific passer, uh, and, he, and he's a heck of a rebounder. And then Mike Burwell is going to give us some scoring and shooting, which we needed. He's a 6'6", two-guard uh, that's very athletic and has a nice feel for the game, but he makes threes. And then Bilal Dixon, who, who we added as, as a one-year grad student, has done a great job. He came in at about 282 pounds this summer. He's down to about 244, 245 right now. He passes it. He can score in the post, and he's a big, rugged, physical guy. So those guys all played at, at, at the highest level and, um, and, and had meaningful minutes. So we're expecting them to come in and, and not be new, be experienced, lead, and be productive right away. Last season was a difficult one in terms of wins and losses, but what were you able to take away from last year, and is your rebuilding project at Towson on schedule? Well, no, it's not on schedule because I would have liked to get it done last year, and we certainly didn't. Um, I, I think, you know, anytime you're trying to build a program, you, you've got to develop and change habits, and when you do that, then you have a culture. When you have culture, you have program. I, I think uh, the, the people around me, my staff, and, and, and the infrastructure at Towson has allowed us to change habits. Uh, we train a certain way, we lift a certain way, we work out a certain way, we practice a certain way. And, and now as you add talented pieces and they become a part of that culture, you can get well on your way to have, having you know, a successful program, which, which is tough to do in a great league like the CAA, but that, that's the goal and we've got to find a way to get it done. The new Tiger Arena is getting closer to completion. I bet you'd like to see every brick added every day. Uh, how excited are you and your players about being able to play in this new facility next year? Oh, we're jacked up, tremendously excited. Uh, the, the people that are working on it, uh, I drive up that way every morning. It's, it's, a, it's a great view. It's, it's going to give us the nicest venue in the CAA. It's, it's going to be spectacular, and uh, it's going to be done sometime this, this spring, and we can't wait to get in it.